Good evening. My name is Drew Cady, and I'm a member of the Cultural Arts Committee here in Del Mar. Let's face it, there is nothing like attending a live performance. On the other hand, having an engineered concert live from Sprague in Lucadia, a first-class recording studio where the artists can each, each hear each other perfectly, and the audience gets an excellent live mixed feed of the performance, well, that is exactly what we have tonight. Remember the first time you watched a professional sporting event from your living room and you thought, hey, this is so much better than crowding into a stadium full of beer-swilling, sweating fans screaming their heads off. You get a front row view of all the action. You can see the ball at all times. You get a running commentary. And best of all, you can eat and drink anything you please. Well, here it is, the Cultural Arts Committee of Del Mar's first virtual concert ever. So settle back, take a sip of that Dom Perignon, come on, <coughs> loosen that tie, get comfortable. Is that shrimp scampi I smell coming from your kitchen? Imagine we are all sitting in your living room together, enjoying this unique hybrid experience. We will be sending a follow-up survey to all of you registered, and we want to know how you like this, so let us know, okay? Should we continue these virtual concerts, at least until the pandemic subsides? Thanks for being with us. Here is to the magic of live performance in whatever form we can manage. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Christine Guter and Jeremy Siskind. Cheers. <laughs> Never thought that you could be standing here so close to me. There's so much I feel that I should say. But words can wait until another day. Just kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt this way, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. Time. You'll never know how many dreams I dreamed about you Or just how empty they all seem without you So kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again It's been a long, long time Just kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again it's been a long, long time Haven't felt like this before since can't remember It's been a long, long time You'll never know how many dreams I dream about you Or just how empty they all seem without you So kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again It's been a long
haven't felt this way my dear since can't remember when it's been a long long time you never know how many dreams i dream about you or just how empty they all seem without you so kiss me once then kiss me twice then kiss me once again it's been a long long time it's been a long long thought that might be appropriate because this is a it's been a long time since we've made music together in real time um, so that's a Jewel Stein and Sammy Contoon that was a number one hit actually in 1945 right around World War II and um, I love Sammy Con lyrics and they're a great songwriting team so thought we'd start with that um, I've been thinking so much uh, about this next song in, in different ways. Uh, we're going to do a tune that usually I, th I think of in a romantic setting, but I feel like um, lately we are all in this as a human race together, and we can weather the great unknown if we are bonded together in love and compassion. So this is Alone Together. <coughs> Too proud to cling together. We're strong as long as we're together. Alone together. The blinding rain, the started nights. We're not in vain for we're here together. And what is there to fear together? Our love is as deep as the sea. Our love is as great as a love can be and we can weather the great unknown if we're alone together
together They on the crowd above the world We're not too proud to cling together We're strong as long as we're together The blinding rain, the starlit nights We're not in vain for we're together And what is there to fear together? This love is as deep as the sea This love is as great as a love can be And we can weather the great unknown If we're alone together Together How you doing in there, Jeremy? Good. It feels like we're alone together, right? We are. <laughs> I, I don't know how much people can see. I'm sure they can see both of us, but we have a wall in between us. We're not recklessly not wearing masks, um, but we are both in our own little compartments in the studio. Um, yeah. But it feels like I'm in the room with you. It does. A very reverberant room. <laughs> Such, yes. <laughs> it's a cave. Yay. And then it's just like crazy because we played my last gig right before the pandemic hit. That was mine too, yeah. Yeah, and it, like I remember it as my last fun night with people, just having a great time Making before music. everything hit. Yeah. So it feels like weirdly full circle to be with you playing this music again, uh, and I love it. So, I love it so too. So glad to be here. I feel very, very blessed to to be able to do this. It's um, it's it's a trip. Huh? Hopefully, whatever juju we put on the world that started the pandemic, now we're gonna reverse it, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. I love it. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, this next tune actually was number one hit back in 1723 by the biggest rock star of the day. Um, and this is a song that I arranged for the Long Beach Bach Festival a few years ago. And this is Yezu Joy of Man's Desiring. <laughs>
<coughs> All right. Thank you. I hear clapping in the distance. <laughs> It's very awkward after you're finished with a song and a concert and you don't hear anything. That's how it usually goes for me. I don't know, I guess you're used to something different. Oh boy. <laughs> um, this next song is one of my favorite, I think it might be my favorite song of all time. Um, it was written by arguably the best composer-lyricist duo in Brazilian history. Edu Lobu and Chico Buarque. Um, Edu Lobu writes the music and Chico Buarque is the poet. And it's a song called Beatriz. And it was written, um, it's basically about a man who falls desperately in love with an actress. And there's this unrequited love and this yearning and reaching for this unattainable thing that he just desperately wants to get into his life. And I love these lyrics so much. I'd like to read the translation <clears throat> because I'm going to sing it in Portuguese. And uh, I think the lyrics are so poignant and beautiful. Look, I wonder if she's a maiden. I wonder if she's sad. I wonder if it's just the contrary. I wonder if it's a painting the face of the actress. If she dances in the seventh heaven, if she believes it's another country, and if she just learns to play her part by heart, and if I were be able to become part of her life. Look, I wonder if she's made of China. I wonder if she's made of ether. I wonder if it's madness. I wonder if it's a stage set, the home of the actress. If she lives in a skyscraper, and if the walls are made of chalk, and if she cries in a hotel room, and if I were able to become part of her life. Yes, take me forever, Beatriz. Teach me not to walk with my feet on the ground. Forever is always just barely. So tell me how many disasters are in my hand. Tell me if it's dangerous for us to be happy. Look, I wonder if it's a star. I wonder if it's a lie. I wonder if it's a comedy. I wonder if it's divine. The life of the actress. If one day she falls from the sky and the paying crowd demands an encore and if the archangel passes around a hat, and if I were be able to become part of her life. This is Beatrice. Será que ele é triste? Será que ele é triste? 
será que o contrário? Será que pintura? Thank you. I hear clapping again in the room. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, gosh, what a blessing to that play with you. That was very fun. <laughs> that was super fun. It's been a long, this... long time. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be fun, too. I think so. I hope so. <clears throat> uh, this is actually a tune that was written by the great Bill Withers. 
we just sadly lost Bill Withers this past March, actually shortly after we did our gig together. And um, he's one of the greatest black singer-songwriters of our generation. Um, some of the great tunes he's written, Ain't No Sunshine, Use Me, uh, Lean On Me, Lovely Day, Just the Two of Us. And this is one other one of his uh, grandma's hands that we're going to do. And... Um, yeah, he won three Grammy Awards, was, no, I think, nominated for like six more or something. And um, I've always been really inspired by this tune and by Bill Withers. And um, he, well, actually, I heard Take Six do this also. And I'm super inspired by Take Six because I'm a vocal jazz nerd. So um, this is our rendition of Grandma's Hands. <clears throat> snakes there She didn't drop no apple core, but I 
don't have grandma's hands no more and if i get to heaven i'll look for grandma's hands <laughs> yeah jeremy <laughs> I think this is a good time to say my grandma's actually watching. I talked with her just before we went on live stream. So I want to give a shout out to my grandma. Um, I'm not sure that my grandma, my Jewish grandmother from the Bronx, has a lot in common with Bill Withers' grandma. Well, like, I don't, I don't relate to the song exactly. <laughs> Maybe not. There's a lot less talk about Jesus and tambourine and whipping. Right. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't come up from my grandma. <laughs> Well, it did from mine, so I do have that in common. Um, <clears throat> actually, uh, do you want to do a solo tune? Sure. Um, I'll, give, I'll give you a little rest, not that you need it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I was actually thinking about this piece that I wrote. One of the things that I think breaks a lot of our hearts right now is that we can't travel, right? We're, for better or for worse, we're stuck at home. Um, but, we, of course, we can travel in our mind and through art and through music. So I wrote this tune called Brooklyn Sunset. And I just want you to imagine this moment with me because I'm kind of trying to paint it in the music. And the moment is that it's a summer night, 7.30 in Brooklyn, and you're going over the Brooklyn Bridge into Manhattan. And there's just a sky full of every color imaginable, hues of purples and pinks and orange and yellow. Um, and not only is it up in the sky, but it's all reflecting off of the building. So everywhere you look is kind of this just technicolor light show of color and magic. Um, and it's that just perfect summer night. Um, and so I'm going to try to paint that picture uh, for you with music. This is called Brooklyn Sunset. I hope you enjoy.
Thank you. <laughs> One lonely clapper. <laughs> that was beautiful, Jeremy. Thanks, Christine. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> How you doing in there? Do you feel lonely? A little bit. Oh. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> um. This next tune I actually found from a student of mine. Uh, I teach at Cal State Long Beach in the uh, jazz department there. And um, he found this song and did it on his senior recital. Thank you, Christian Valdez, if you're out there. Um, this is a tune called Love Like You. And it was written by Rebecca Sugar, who... Um, she wrote this song for the end credits of an animated TV series called Steven Universe. Have you ever heard of that, Jeremy? No, me either. Okay. I'm <laughs> thinking she presented it at Comic-Con and stuff. But um, it's the cool thing is she also wrote the TV series, and it's Cartoon Network's first animated series to be created solely by a woman. And the fact that she did this as well as wrote this song for the end credits, I think is really cool. But um, it's just a really unique and beautiful tune. So we hope you like it. Oh, I don't. begin to be half of what you think of me I could do about anything I could even learn how to love when I see the way you act wondering if I'm coming back I could do about anything I could even learn how to love like you love like you I know that's not true Cause you think I'm so good But I'm nothing like you Look at you go I just adore you I wish that I knew What makes you think I'm so special If I could begin to do Something that does right by you I would do about anything I would even learn how to love when I see the way you look, shaken by how long it took, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love like you. I might be 
bad Now I know that's not true Cause you think I'm so good But I'm nothing like you Look at you go I just adore you I wish that I knew I'm so special If I could begin to do Something that does right by you I would do about anything I would even learn how to love When I see the way you look Shaken by how long it took I could do about anything I could even learn how to love Like you Thank you, Drew. <laughs> I'll clap for you. I'll clap for you. Oh my goodness. I love that song. Thank you, Christian. You're probably not watching this right now. I know you're in Memphis. You may not even know about it, but thanks for bringing that song to my attention. I really appreciate it. Would you, do you want to say a word about this next one? Sure, that makes sense. So that this, makes sense. <laughs> this Thanks. next song is one that I wrote. Um, I have a group called the Housewarming Project, uh, for which I write a lot of songs with lyrics. Um, and I don't sing, so I have to impose my will upon people like Christine uh, to sing my songs, which usually have way too many words. And this song is no exception. Uh, it's called If You Can Read, You Can Cook. Um, and I guess we got to know about my grandma a little bit, so now this is a shout out to my mom uh, who says this a lot. She says, if you can read, you can cook. And it's kind of a simple, uh, simple saying that, you know, you get out a cookbook, it's got directions, it tells you to uh, do something for a certain amount of time or until the, you know, until the meat turns brown, whatever it is. And if you can follow that, you can cook. Um, now, of course, as, a, uh, as, as somebody's son, my job is to rebel and to say, well, things aren't that simple, right? Um, you know, if you saute something until it gets brown, how brown? You know, what shade of brown? And how much color is there supposed, you know, is it supposed to be all of it's brown or do we just see some brown? You know, there's all of these uh, intermediate places and you actually have to have some skill to cook, right? It's not a simple matter of if you can read, you can cook. There's people... Uh, literate and not, <laughs> who are better cooks than others. And so I kind of took this for a little metaphor for life. There's things that are supposed to be easy. They're supposed to be straightforward. Mm -hmm. You go on dates with people and then you fall in love and you get married. Um, or, you know, you have a family and you take care of one another and everything's simple and straightforward in the sitcom universe that we were raised in. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once you get out there in the real world, it's not as simple. Um, so, uh, Anyway, hopefully the song is fun. We'll imagine you laughing in our in your heads at everything happening in the song. Uh, it's a little chance for us to be silly. Yes. It's called If You Can Read, You yes. Can Cook. Yes, we've all been getting into cooking more <clears throat> since, you know, the pandemic. So here we go. Fresh at the 
the corner store Glaze them like a chef Make them beg for more If you can't breathe then you can cook Jeremy, those are so clever. Thank you, Christine. I love the way you sing that. And Christine, that actually wasn't, we didn't swing that tune ever. And so Christine came in and had that idea. Yeah, because um, I'm like, I didn't, you sent me the chart, but I didn't know what the groove was. And I just went default <laughs> swing. <laughs> it works. It, hey, it's super fun. Yeah. I love it. When did you write that? Um, 
You know, it's one of those things that evolved over a long time, but it was probably four years ago or so. Okay, cool. And then, you know, you keep adding a lyric here, taking out a lyric there, picking out different chord progression. These things are living, right? <laughs> they are. Um, and didn't you, your housewarming project just got a grant, right? Well, thank you for bringing that up. I yeah. want to hear about it. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, uh, it's really an amazing opportunity through Chamber Music America, which is a New York-based organization. They supported, I think, 13 different small jazz groups uh, with what they call their New Works Grant. So they're basically funding us to write, perform, premiere, and record a new suite of music. So I'm already writing for it, and I'm so excited. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Wow. That's cool. I know we have some jazz camp westers watching. <clears throat> Drew is a jazz camp wester, too. And um, Allison uh, also got a grant, so I'm very excited for her, too. Um, yeah, it's exciting. There's so many people on there that, that I know. Allison Miller, sorry. I'm oh, talking awesome. about. Yeah. Um, there's so many names that I recognize. I was very excited. Yeah, it's awesome. Chamber Music America does an incredible job supporting the arts and yeah. su supporting jazz musicians in particular. Cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So congratulations, Jeremy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. I almost feel like this one kind of needs no introduction. Okay.
my fantasy is fading Like a distant star at dawn My dearest dream is gone I know there's just one thing to do Pretend the dream is true Tell myself that you are Christine Duter, everybody. Give her a round of applause from your home. She's amazing. <laughs> Jeremy Siskin, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, gosh, we only have one more tune. Yeah. So I just want to say a word of thanks, a huge world of thanks to Drew, Katie. Thank you so much for inviting us to do this show. Um, thank you so much to the Del Mar Foundation Cultural Arts Committee for sponsoring this concert series, and thank you for keeping it going even through the shutdown of all things. <laughs> we really appreciate you keeping live music alive through the interweb. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And to Peter Sprague here at Sprague-land. You're Peter. amazing. Oh my gosh. Hey, by the way, my students at Long Beach are watching this. And Peter Sprague is the person who wrote the song Mudra that my group is doing. And he's just a fantastic, you guys already know this, but fantastic guitar player, writer, musician, all things. So thank you. And today we discovered he's nice. And he's, he's really, he's really nice. <laughs> he's super nice. Yeah. Um, do you have anything you'd like to say, Drew? Wow. This is magic. Oh. I love what the two of you put together for this evening's program. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay, no words of par parting words. Okay, so I guess we're just going to go. I thought about... Um, you know, what we'd like to do as a closer, per se. And I thought, let's go out with wings. <laughs> so we're going to do this. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist Where someone's waiting to be kissed? Skylark, have you seen a valley green with spring? Where my heart can go a journey Over the shadows in the rain To a blossom-covered lane and in your lonely flight, have you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music, faint as a will o' the wisp, crazy as a loon, sad as a gypsy, serenading the moon. Oh, skylark, I don't know if you can find these things, but my heart is riding on your way. So if you see them anywhere, won't you lead me
Christine Guter and Jeremy Siskin, thank you for sharing this beautiful live experience with all of us out in the ethers. And I also want to thank the Del Mar Foundation for underwriting this concert tonight. And I want to remind our audience that we're going to send all of you who signed up for this concert a brief survey, and we'd love to get your feedback. Tell us what you think. Let us know. Should we be continuing this while we're in the pandemic? Thanks to each and every one of you for being here tonight, and good night. That was fun. <laughs> there we go. And now we.